questions uh, for Melvin Frazier Jr., raise your hand and I'll get to you. All right, we're going to start with Eric Wilson. Melvin, how are you, sir? Good evening. Good evening. How you doing? I'm doing well, man. Thank you for doing this. Appreciate it. Uh, can you just talk about, you know, what life is like in the bubble? More importantly, um, to, you know, to be with your team and kind of have this opportunity to really be a part of this unique situation? I mean, life in the bubble, I mean, it's different, you know, trying to adapt to the situation and just really just taking every day, day by day, and just trying to improve. And it feels good to be back with the team. It's been so long. You know, we've just been in gym work. Okay, uh, Josh Robbins, The Athletic. Yeah, hey, Melvin, good evening. Uh, hey, uh, obviously you couldn't participate in Summer League uh, this past summer, uh, and it doesn't look like there's going to be a Summer League this summer. Uh, how important are these practices for you and the games, uh, potentially, given the potentially in increased uh, rotations for you? Uh, I mean, it's it's very important, you know. I miss I missed out on summer league and want to miss out this year again. Just every day in practice, just taking it day by day, like I said, just getting better, just focusing, and just taking advantage of the opportunity I have in front of me, and just being ready when my time comes. Uh, Dan Savage, OrlandoMagic.com. Melvin, how how nice of a sight was it to get Markel back in the fold yesterday, and and how was it just to you know add another guy uh, to the group that you have out there in the campus? I mean, it's very good. You know, me and Markel we very close, and um, just to see him getting back in the gym, have an extra man in practice, you know, because I mean we kind of down a few guys, so it's kind of been tough. But just seeing him getting back, it's just been good. How, how, how's the rapport you've built with him and, and what kind of, you know, aspects do you like out of him, you know, as a floor general? Everything. Like he has an all-around game, very smart. And he's just a good teammate, like overall. Like he's just a good person and he's genuine. So, I mean, I just love this just the type of person he is. Okay, uh, Josh Cohen, OrlandoMagic.com. Since coming into the NBA, what aspect of your game have you improved the most in and what have you been concentrating the most on since you uh, came to the campus at Disney? Um, overall, I say my game has advanced in general, but the most thing I've been working on is my jump shot. You know, that's going to be the difference maker in me. So I just been getting a lot of reps, shots, just staying in the gym, doing what I can do. Okay, let's go uh, back to Dan Savage. Uh, Melvin, coach said that you guys increased the amount of five on five today. You know, how was that? How do you how do you think you're holding up to, to that type of workload? I mean, I've been good. I have no complaints. You know, whatever coach wants us to do, I'm just doing it. And I mean, I feel good. He feel good. And everybody's looking good, to be honest. So we just doing what we have to do. Josh Robbins, The Athletic. Now, how did you work on uh, staying sharp and staying in shape during the hiatus before you got back into the, the gym for individual workouts? Um, I mean, back home, I bought a basketball goal, and I just was working out, getting shots. I was running three miles every day and just doing whatever I could do into a gym so I could get to a gym. So I just stayed on top of it, and when I got in, I was one of the guys that was in shape and stuff like that. So, I mean, I did good until we started back up. So you went back to New Orleans? Correct. Oh, cool. Thank you. Um, let's go back to Dan Savage, OrlandoMagic.com. You'll, you'll start your uh, team scrimmages next week. You know, how nice will it finally be to, to get some time playing against uh, somebody else? Oh, it feel good. You know, it's been a minute since I played in G League. So just getting back in the game flow, just exciting and ready to do it. Any final questions for Melvin? Oh, we have one. Let's see. Uh, Josh Robbins. Melvin, a, a silly question here, because we saw a bunch of photos of guys with big fish that they caught uh, on the day off. Who is the, who, uh, is the best fisherman on the team, and who is the guy most likely to – just say he caught a, a bigger fish than he actually caught. Uh, 
I probably would say the best fisher is probably Gary. I heard he's he fishes a lot. And probably Mo. We'll probably say he caught the biggest fish and really didn't. <laughs> Thank you. Any final questions? Okay. Thank you so much, Melvin. Appreciate it. Thank you all.